things going on YouTube, so you know it's best here, best here. Hey, what's going on YouTube? So you know what's best here. I'm going to be giving you a breakdown of what Apple just um, previewed to us about the new iPhone 3.0 software update. Now, it's not available yet. It will be available sometime here in the summertime, hopefully early summer. Uh, but it is a, a very big update that, that answers a lot of problems that people have been having with the iPhone. And I'm going to jump right into it here and start talking about some of the new features in it. All right, the first big thing is cut and paste. Cut and paste is here. Now you can have the ability just to select the text that you want to um, cut and paste, double tap it, bring up a little bubble here, and then you can choose whether you want to cut, copy, or paste it. And then you can find whatever location you want to take it to and paste it there. And so that, that is something that a lot of people have been wanting for a long time here, basically because it's just a basic thing you can do, and uh, it wasn't on the iPhone yet. So it now it's here with this new software update. And one thing, if you once you paste it somewhere, another neat thing here, if you paste it somewhere and you want to undo that, you know, you made a mistake, you want to undo it, all you have to do is just give your phone a shake, you know, um, Reverse that change it did as far as that face. So that's something a little, a little neat there. That's a little neat thing there. Um, but also, dude, you can do the same thing for photos. You can cut and copy and paste photos. And now you can send multiple photos in your emails now. So you can select multiple photos at once and send them over in one email, which is another good thing. And um, also, now there are uh, is an, a spotlight now on the iPhone. Now, for those Mac users, you know you have spotlight that comes to Mac OS X Leopard on your desktop or your laptop. And what spotlight is is it basically a way you can search all the information on your device at once. So now that's coming to the iPhone. So it's a little here. I'm trying to show you. It's a little magnifying glass here, where the uh, where right next to see how many pages that you have of applications. It's a little magnifying glass there. You hit that, and now you can type in something like you know Apple, and it'll search your phone for any applications or any documents or any pictures with Apple, something like that. So it's pretty neat. Uh, Spotlight is always good. I use that a lot. Um, 3G tethering is here. Now that's a big thing. You now you can tether your iPhone to your computer and be able to surf the internet on your computer via your iPhone. Now this is carrier specific, so um, Apple said it is going to be in the software update, but it is up to your car carrier to allow that to happen. Now AT&T is already on board with that. They already said they're going to bring it out, so hopefully they're going to be the first people actually to start using this tethering once they release the 3.0 software update. Hopefully it doesn't cost more than $30. I, I wouldn't think it would cost more than $30. But that's another good thing. Uh, landscape keyboard is here. They now have the landscape keyboard and uh, and your text messages and Safari and also in notes. So you can now can turn to the side and type it in all those applications. And multimedia messaging is here. There's something that's been getting my nerves of late. Now you can send photos. You can actually send audio clips of yourself. And also you can send B cards, which are... Uh, pretty much just cards that have uh, contact information. So you have contact information you want to send somebody else, you can send it via the text matches. So the big thing I like about that, besides the photos, is the ability to send sound. So you can make a little audio clip instead of typing a text message, uh, record your audio real quick, send it out, and they can listen to it. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, stereo Bluetooth support, you have uh, Bluetooth headset or Bluetooth um, headphones, you can now use that. And also, you can uh, also interact with other Bluetooth enabled devices. They gave an example when uh, this little, I think it's a 15 year old girl has diabetes, and a lot of people have diabetes, and they got to keep track of the insulin every day. So now they have a device that can, you know, prick their finger, check their insulin, and actually send that information straight to their iPhone via Bluetooth, or they can have it connected to it. And then now throughout the day, they can check that level, and also they can be able to add in what they're eating throughout the day. And this can help keep track of when they need their insulin shots or something like that to keep them healthy. So that's one of those things a lot of people are not going to use. Well, maybe a lot of people use, but a lot of people are not going to really interact with. But uh, it's something to show you the power of it. Uh, Wi-Fi, auto login, um, shake to shuffle music in your iPod. Just give it a shake just like you have with the iPhone Nano. You know, shuffle your music. A uh, couple new um, Apple applications. You now have a voice memo application. So you can now... Like I said, you can already send a voice in a text message. Now you can just have an application just to strictly record your voice or speech or something like that right on your phone. Um, and also, now you can send and receive files strictly to uh, uh, between a different iPhone or iPod Touch. You can distribute your information, send your information straight to that next iPhone or iPod Touch. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm saying pretty cool a lot, ain't I? <laughs> I got to stop that. Um, one of the big things here that I think is a big plus and something that kind of I wasn't thinking about, but peer-to-peer -peer Wi-Fi connectivity. Now, this comes, this covers a lot of things. Sending music to another iPhone, sending, like I said, 
um, documents or pictures to another iPhone. Uh, but also this comes big with um, gaming. Now I'm gonna tell you how this is gonna work. Now this peer-to-peer -peer Wi-Fi connectivity doesn't actually use a Wi-Fi network. It connects to both the phones or both the touches uh, via Bluetooth, and you make you create your own little personal network right then and there. Uh, so there's open possibilities to be able to, like I said, pass music. Um, but also they have an example where it's like a virtual pet game. You can, if both of y'all have this game running at the same time, you can invite that person's dog over and have a little dog play date. I ain't know people still do that, but you can uh, you can do that. Um, but another good thing that's going to come into effect where uh, multiplayer games is a game, I think it's called Live Fire, I believe. It's a first person shooter. You can... Um, you can join it's a multiplayer game, so you can have, you can play over 3G and the Wi-Fi and be playing people in this first-person shooter. And also now Apple is including VoIP support. So what that means is that now since you're playing these multiplayer games, saying you're playing a team game and capture the flag or something like that, now with VoIP you actually be able to talk to your team. I mean that's 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 a big step. I don't know if, if even the uh, PSP does that yet. I don't know for sure. But these features uh, really put it right down on the level of the PSP as far as gaming or right above it. So now with what you'll be able to talk in your games to the other person you're playing or playing with. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, let's see. You can now use your iPhone to control other peripherals like that um, insulin device for diabetes. But you also can use it to control external speakers. Also a blood pressure monitor. You can put a blood pressure monitor up to it. Hook it up to your iPhone and it'll show you your blood pressure. Um, now you can actually use maps inside applications now, so developers like that be able to put Google Maps right inside the application to take advantage of it. Turn by turn GPS is here. Now you have the ability to use turn by turn GPS, but the developers will have to bring their own maps to the party though. Uh, they won't be able to use Google Maps because of copyright issues, but they can use their own maps and make a turn by turn GPS application. And I'm assuming with voice as well too, so that's good. So I'm, I'm assuming Garmin and TomTom, Tom, all those people are going to be jumping right on this. Uh, push notifications is something that was promised back in September. It's finally going to be here, hopefully. Uh, but it's finally going to be here in the 3.0 software update. And what that means is that you have an application like AIM or something, an application like that. Now you'll be able to receive messages and updates without having, actually having the application open at a time. Now this is not a background application. It doesn't mean that you can have like an internet streaming radio application closed and you can actually still hear the radio station. It's not that. It's not a background application in that sense, but if you have an a, um, ESPN sort of application where uh, once your favorite team gets done playing, even though you don't have the ESPN application open, it'll send you a text message and let you know if they won or not. So that's pretty cool there. Um, let's see, Rumble now in games. The games have um, Rumble support, so if you bump into a wall while you're racing, you actually feel a vibrate on your phone. <laughs> that's pretty nice. Um, and also it's an enhanced app store. Um, the app store now you can subscribe to apps so you have like a magazine a newspaper application you can subscribe right to it like for a monthly fee or something like that um, also if you um, playing a game and the first 10 levels are free now you have the ability to purchase the additional levels right inside the application itself you don't have to wait to update or you don't have to go to your computer to do it you can do it right in the game itself so that's pretty cool um, so this update I think it covered a lot of things there. I think I covered everything um, but the iPhone uh, 3.0 software update will be free for all iPhone users. Um, and also, another, another note there that for the first generation iPhone users, it will still be free to you, but you will be missing a couple of features there. You will not be able to uh, have the stereo Bluetooth support. And I know I think you will not be able to send the MMS, the multimedia message, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I know definitely you're not going to be able to do the Bluetooth support. And I don't think you'll be able to do the MMS. So that kind of sucks, but uh, Apple said that's a hardware issue. Uh, but iPod Touch users, you'll be able to get this update too for a low, low price of $9.95. So iPod Touch users, you'll be able to get it. Um, so anyway, they released the SDK, which is a source development kit for developers making the applications for us. Uh, so they got, they, they got that beta, to, or they got that SDK today. So by the time this thing launches, the applications will already be here. They'll be able to take advantage of it. And like I said, it'll be available early summer, hopefully. I'm looking, I'm, I'm kind of predicting hopefully a late May, early June launch. But overall, I'm very satisfied with it. It, it answers a lot of problems people have been having with it. And overall, I mean, it's a, it's a great thing. I'm looking forward to it. I wish it would have been available today, but uh, I know they got to work some kinks out. All right, Soldier Knows Best here. If you watch me for the first time, make sure you do subscribe to my channel. Not only will you be updating when I release new videos like this, 
Um, you also be automatically entered in any of my giveaways I do here on YouTube just by subscribing, just by hitting that yellow button. And uh, make sure everybody catch me live on Ustream.tv um, at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. It's a live streaming event. You'll be able to see me and interact with me live. I'll be able to answer calls via Skype, answer your questions in the chat room. Um, also, you can go to my website now, www.soldiernosbest.com. Uh, it's a work in progress. I just put something together last night and put it out there. But I have a link. You can watch the stream right on my website if you want to. And uh, like I said, you can go there. It's going to be very bare bones, but I'm working on that to get that better. Um, all right, so those best here. I'll go ahead and end the video here, and I'll catch you later. Peace.